In this video, I'll introduce you to Local Falcon, a tool that allows you to see how well your Google business listing ranks on Google Maps and spy on your top ranking competitors. Here's how it works. Local Falcon simulates a Google search from multiple geographic locations, allowing you to see how your business ranks in different areas you serve, giving you a better idea of how your listing appears to customers in one area versus another. Then, see how your competitors rank in comparison to you. This lets you see which businesses are outranking yours and identify areas of improvement for your Google Business Profile. Then track your rankings over time to assess what's working, whether you manage one location or multiple. With this tool, you can help your local business soar above the rest. And at the end of this video, I'll share how to use Local Falcon without adding a specific business listing. Here's how to run your first scan. Click Run a Scan from the dashboard or left-hand sidebar. Then add the Google Business Profile you want to run a scan for. To do so, you can link up your Google account and select from any of the profiles you manage. Or you can search for the business by name and find its listing this way. By the way, you can do a scan for any Google Business Profile, even competitors, or for SEO audits if you're a marketing consultant or agency. I'll talk more about how to use this tool to spy on your competitors later in the video. Once you've added the business, choose a radius you want this scan to cover. Typically, this would be the geographic area you serve or are likely to get customers from. Now, be realistic here. Rankings on Google Maps are heavily influenced by proximity. So the further someone is from your physical location, the more likely it is that businesses closer to them will rank higher than yours. Unfortunately, that's just the way Google Maps works. If you wanna learn more about the specifics, you can find videos on local ranking factors on my channel. Next, under Grid Options, select how many points or places you want Local Falcon to run a search from. You can choose from a grid of 3x3 three three up to 15x15. 15 15. Note that Local Falcon uses a credit model where one grid point equals one credit. So you'll use up more credits the more grid points you select. A 3x3 three three grid uses nine credits, a 5x5 five five uses 25 credits, and so on. By default, the grid will be centered at your business's location but you can move the center point to get a more accurate coverage area. And you can deselect unnecessary grid points. No need to do a search over water or in an area where you don't have customers. This will save you on credits too. Now, let's add the keyword or keywords you want to run for this scan. You can choose from Local Falcon's suggested keywords or add ones from your own keyword research. I like to add a combination of broad terms along with more specific ones. Another thing to know is that each keyword is its own scan, which means you'll use the amount of credits from your grid selection times the number of keywords you add here. In this example, I'm using a five by five grid and five keywords, which would normally equal 125 credits, 25 for each keyword. However, because I shut off those grid points earlier, it's only going to use 105 of my credits. Now that you understand that, when you're ready, click the Run Scan button to see your results. You can find your scan reports under Reports on the left-hand sidebar. Then, in each report, you'll see the keyword and these three scores. Here's what these mean. ARP is your average ranking position over all the grid points searched in relation to the top 20 listings. For example, our score is 2.86, which essentially means we rank number three on average. A TRP, or average total rank position, is similar, but instead is the average compared to all the listings found, not just the top 20. For both these scores, a lower number is better. SOLV stands for Share of Local Voice. This score is how often your business ranks in one of the top three positions. In other words, how often is your business in the local finder, which is also referred to as the three pack. For this score, a higher number is better. 
The map image shows your ranking position for each grid point, allowing you to see where you're performing best and worst. Green dots mean you're in the top three. Yellow, orange, and red indicate lower rankings. You can download these reports as a PDF or CSV spreadsheet, or just download the map image itself, or share the report as a link. One cool thing about the CSV reports is that it gives you a ton of additional info. It actually shows you the details for the top 20 businesses in every single grid point, along with their average rating, number of reviews, and distance from the center point of the grid, and distance from the data point. These last two help give you some insight into how location plays into ranking results. Now let's talk about competitors. In each scan report, you're able to see all the other business listings that ranked for this keyword and their scores. By default, this report is sorted by share of local voice, but you can also sort by average rank position or average total rank position. If you scroll back to the top, the View Scan Explorer feature lets you see a more in-depth view of each grid point. Click on any of these to see where your business ranks alongside each of your competitors. By going back to any scan report or selecting from the left-hand sidebar, you'll also get a competitor report for each keyword. This allows you to see how your top ranking competitors rank on the grid and compare this to your business. With Local Falcon, you can start to piece together why another Google business profile might have the edge over yours. Things like the amount of reviews, average ratings, and categories are a good place to start. For example, I can see that Superior Savings Bank is only using one category on their profile, whereas we have three additional categories on ours. We might want to consider removing these additional categories to see if it helps. They also have a better average rating. This might be something to work on too. I also like to view competitors' profiles directly on Google to see what else they're doing, like the amount of photos, their description, are they using posts, etc. This will allow you to start formulating some strategies for improvement. But Local Falcon doesn't tell you exactly what to do, unfortunately. For this, you're gonna have to bring some of your own SEO knowledge to the table. You can also schedule automatic scans. Choose from a previous scan or scans, select the date and time you want it to run, then select how often you want it to run. Running regular scans allows you to track your progress over time. Local Falcon even gives you a trend report of your previous scans. You can also run or schedule scans using the bulk scan scheduler, which can save you time. Add multiple locations, your keywords, and scan size. Then you can either run this once or schedule these to run on a regular basis. To get started with Local Falcon, you can sign up for free and you'll get 100 credits just for creating an account. This is a great way to test the tool out before making a decision. When you're ready to upgrade, pricing starts at $24.99 a month for 7,500 monthly credits and the packages go up from there. Note that credits don't roll over and they reset each month. And if you're a consultant or agency wanting to white label your reports, this is currently only available with the premium plan option. Now for my special bonus tip. Here's how to run a scan without adding a specific business listing. Here's the trick. Instead of selecting a business name, select the city you want to search instead. For example, let's say I want to see all the top ranking credit unions in Superior. Since the business in this demo is a bank, it's very unlikely they'll rank for keywords related to credit unions. So now that I've selected Superior as the business, I'm going to set the radius, grid size, and keywords just like I would a regular scan. I'm going to add the keyword credit unions for this example. Now, in the scan report, you're going to ignore the scores at the top as well as the map image. This is basically saying that the city of Superior didn't show up in the report at all, which we wouldn't expect it to because it's not a business. 
but I'm now able to see which credit unions rank best in the area I scanned. This is great if you're researching a different industry or if you wanna see top ranking businesses in a city where you don't have a physical location. So whether you're a marketing department, consultant, or business owner, Local Falcon empowers you to optimize your business listing on Google, accurately track and report on your rankings, and ultimately attract more customers. Start dominating Google Maps today. You'll find the link to your free trial in the video's description. And for more videos like this one, check out my channel or simply watch this next video.